Later this week, Sony Pictures will release a controversial movie that's been in the news recently, but the interview, the movie, will only be released in a handful of independent theaters across the country, including one in Providence. As NBC10's Olivia Fecto reports, the owner says he's expecting a large turnout. The theater at Cable Car Cinema in Providence seats just 100 people. This Friday, owner Daniel Camille says the crowd may be different than usual. You know, foreign films that have been critically acclaimed, independent films, um, this is not our typical fare. The theater is among independent cinemas nationwide screening The Interview, we starring Seth Rogen and James Franco. We got the interview! The CIA would love it if you could take him out. Rogan and Franco played journalists asked to assassinate North Korean leader Kim Jong-un. Sony pulled the movie after hackers attacked the company and leaked private data. They caused a lot of damage. President Barack Obama said Sony made the wrong decision. Camille agreed, um, signing a, a petition to the CEO of Sony along with other independent owners. Gentlemen, you are entering into the most dangerous country on earth. Please remember Kim Jong-un. Um, what we can and cannot see, so I do see it as a First Amendment issue. Sony reversed its course, no allowing Korea! for limited release of the movie in theaters. Nationwide, independent theaters are preparing as moviegoers buy tickets. We can't let people push us around. The FBI says North Korea is behind the attack and the threats against theaters that followed. The idea that we would be physically attacked for screening this, I don't think is credible, and I find it, frankly, absurd. Cable Car plans to post tickets for sale on its website Wednesday evening. For Camille, showing the movie is a no-brainer. I militantly support um, our right to see <laughs> stupid stuff. The owners say if everything goes according to plan, they expect to start showing the movie on Friday evening, and they tell me they expect tickets to sell out quickly. In Providence, Olivia Fecto, NBC10 News. The movie will also be featured at two Boston area theaters. Apple Cinemas in Cambridge will screen it tomorrow, Christmas Day, Somerville Theater, same thing. Meanwhile,